summarization. Praise the Lord. So let's pray as we study today Bible in foundation class. Uh, Father, we thank you for this foundation class this morning. We thank you for the privilege of being alive. It is not that we are more righteous than many that they have gone, but it is your mercy, your compassion that keep us here today. We thank you for this privilege, and we say may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <coughs> Hallelujah. So now we are we talk about the fall of uh, um, we are talking about the sin and the fall of man. And we say that sin is what sin is disobedient to God. Sin is disobedient to God. Fail to do what God's word request or require from you, or doing what is forbidden by God. And that is called sin. However, man has always paid attention to the manifestation of sin with little consideration to what sin truly is. So man pay little attention to little to to, to sin in a little way. He consider sin in a little form. He didn't man didn't know the full detail of sin. Huh? Eh? Many a time, many we don't know the full detail of sin. There are sin in in scripture that we might not easily identify that those sins they are sin. Eh? There are things that we do as believer, as Christian, that we might not know that they are sin. Eh? We don't know them that they are sin, but because we don't know them that they are sin. We can't separate it. That is why the Spirit of God is in us. And by the time, many a time, when you do those things that you don't know that it is sin, the Spirit of God reminds you and tells you that this thing that you just did is what is wrong, is sin. And as a Christian, what do you do? You now ask God for mercy for that the same time. Eh? You get the point. So what we are, what we are doing, the essence of a uh, son in. Uh, foundation class is to build new believers is to build people that want to know god sometimes somebody can be in church somebody can be born again and uh, he maybe she or he has been born again for three years five years even ten years but they have not undergone what foundation class they might be going to bible study uh, they might attend uh, Sunday school class, but that is not what those are not Bible. Is not foundation class. They didn't teach you the, the 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 basic life of a new believers. I get the point. Uh, yesterday, and a word of a mission program, I asked one of the leader. To explain the difference between the Bible study and the Sunday school and foundation class. Of course, in some cases, you discover that when we are talking about foundation in uh, a new believer join a church and he come to Sunday service. Uh, he attend class in maybe they share it in a group. Uh, what are they teaching? They are teaching the Bible, but it is a general what is general topic to everybody. That means even someone that has been in a has been in faith for twenty years also also go through that study. Are you getting the point? The same way in a in a Bible study too. But when we are talking about, I okay. Let me come. Let me summarize this. You discover that that new believer 
supposed not to go through that because the Bible said that the HR, uh, uh, Peter was speaking and Peter said a newborn baby should first of all seek for what the meal he didn't eat meat that time he first of all seek for what they give milk to a newborn baby from there he graduated from sucking breast and maybe in some time in some places sometime the child begin to eat uh, take a calm all those type of thing before he begin to eat so that is the process that the child of god suppose if you want to have a good foundation are you getting the point so now imagine someone that give his life to christ today and he is attending a bible study with his general for everyone in all categories of believers he's attending a, a sunday school class that is collective to the church member there is no separation so uh, we now we, some churches separate it by bringing out what is called foundation class. So when you give your life to Christ, they direct you to that class. So as you are graduating from that class, you enter into another level. So the teaching for the foundation class is not the teaching for just like a school. I get the point. Are we clear? So sin is what sin is disobedient to God. Sin is fail, failing to do what 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 God's word requests. Eh? Sin is failing, doing what God requires, or doing what God forbid. And uh, one of the Sunday we talk about using Matthew chapter five verse twenty two. And we expand it. We begin to talk about what Jesus talked about the murderer, and we point out some murderer in that in that in, in quotation, saying that if you tell somebody you are good for nothing, you are also murdering somebody. You are also killing the person. So, but we only end on one spot. Praise the Lord. There are a lot of things that we don't. We don't know that they are seen. We only categorize them on one aspect. When we talk about immorality, do you know sometimes we, when we talk about immorality, we focus our mind go to what? We go to fornication. Huh? But when we are talking about immorality, immorality is expand. It's not only for sexual intercourse, but it's, it has branches which many of us in church indulge in them and the bible say what we are committing is what immorality praise the lord god will help us so sin manifests in different ways and because sin manifests in different ways believers or people pay little attention because they don't know so the, the little knowledge of sin is only based on some physical thing, some physical law that shall not do this, that shall not do this. And we end it there. For example, in time of God's dealing with somebody, the way God deal with me might not be the way God deal with you. Now we are believers. Let us say God dealing with you. And God is trying to raise you to become a prophet. And God is trying to raise him to become a teacher of the gospel. Eh? God is trying to raise me in another, in, a, in, a, in prophetic. All of us have something. So the way God will deal with you is not the way God will deal with me. So if God demands that you as a prophet, you should spend eight hours in prayer as a person. Eh? And now, you know fully well this is what God demands from you. This is the instruction God gives to you. Eh? Then, you go ahead and begin to 
pray four hours. Why God demand eight hours? Pray four hours. To you, it is what? It is a sin. To you, it is what? It is a sin you are disobeying. So Bible says, you know what, if you know what to do, what is right to do, and you are not doing it, it is what? Sin. Are you getting the point? So that aspect, you are, to you is a sin. But in me, it's not a sin, even that he prayed the eight hours. Be, because that is not the way God is dealing with me. Are you getting the point? So, if you now turn it to say that if you are not praying for eight hours, it is a sin. You are introducing the doctrine which is not general to the body of Christ. It is only based on deal God's dealing with individuals' life. Are we clear? Yes. So to you, it might it will be sin, but to me, it is not sin. So when you are not praying that eight hour, what will happen? The Spirit of God will tell you that what you are doing is not what is not right. Draw your mind back to your confidence with God. That is why most of the time I tell people, you that you are dressing this way, as a lady, you that you dress this way, did God ask you to dress that way? Or you see one pastor wife dressing it that way. Or you cover it, cover it with a word called grace. Every individual, we have what is called general dressing. Dressing modestly, the way that God loves. But us in times of God dealing with people, individual should know what God requests from them. How God requires from them to appear before people. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, because we are talking about sin, we want to talk about God's purpose of creating man in his own image. God, God's purpose of creating man in his own image. Why did God create us in his own image before sin come? His own likeness. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27 and 8, 28, 20, 20, 20, 27, 26, 27, sorry. Genesis 21, verse 26 and 27. Man was created to what? To have fellowship with God. To have fellowship or communion with God. That is the, 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 the intent of God creating man. Man, God, man was created. Man was created to have fellowship with God, to become God friend, to become God friend, to become someone that can associate with God. Just like you can live, you have your own house, but you have someone is your friend that you can leave to go and talk with. Huh? And sometimes, some friend, you leave your house and <clears throat> where you are staying, and you go to a particular place where you can discuss, heart, friends to friend, relate with one another, and talk story. You share body together. You share ideas together. Praise the Lord. So, that is the original plan that God has for man. God has for man. And God decided to put a man in a particular place where he can easily come to fellowship with man. Praise the Lord. I will be making it somehow fast today. We should be able to render this, the, the, the subject of uh, manifestation of sin. And the, which is the fall of man. Oh, amen. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 27. He said, God and God say, Let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth. And over every crippled things 
that cripples upon the earth. <coughs> 27 say, So God created man in his own image, and in his own image, in the image of God, created he him, male and female created he them. So who created? It is God that created us. So as a new believer, you should bear it at the back of your mind that you are created by God. And you are not just, God did not just create you just like the way he created other, other things. But you are God likeness. You are God image. You are God image. Praise the Lord. Genesis 2. Let's see. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded that commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou should not eat of it. For in the day that thou eat it thereof, thou shalt surely do what die. So man was great to have fellowship with God. One, a man was great in God's image. Man was great in God's image. Let me ask question this one. The Bible said that man was created in God's image and likeness. Is it possible? Or oh, let me say this to you. As the world today, as people walk around today, as we come to church like this every time, can we say that everybody is in is in God's image or they are God image? Question and answer. As people come to church today, you will see, like today, Sunday, you will see in some churches, thousands of persons will gather. Eh? The question is that are everyone on this planet today? All the people that will gather in different places of worship today, including church, are everybody, everyone, God's image. Every human being, are they really God's image? I just want to point out something. Remember in Genesis chapter 1, God created man in, our own, in his own image and likeness. That is the original plan of God. That is God's purpose for humanity. And now, don't forget, we are talking about the fall of man. So when man fall, eh, when man fall from that position, from God's image, he fall from God's image. After God created man in his image, man fall from God's image when sin enter. And they, they, they were drove out of the Garden of Eden. We are God, keep them. So the fellowship and the communion was not there. Don't forget that God said, when you eat it, you will die. So when they eat it, what happened? The original image of God that man was created, eh? man lost that image of God. Man lost what? The image of God and the likeness of God. The image of God, they are one of them that we will talk about is a, is a dominion power. Eh? The power to control. The ability to design. The ability to have access to God's presence. The ability to do things like the way God does things. Calling out things that are not in existence, into existence. That is the character of God. 
making the impossibility to become what possible that is it that is characters of god are you getting the point yes you sin against god man lost the image of god when you read the genesis chapter five he said to us in the day this is the book of the uh, of the generation of adam in the day that god created man in the likeness of god made he him who made god he said uh, male and female create he them and bless them and go and call their name ada in the day when they were created so who called god called them adam that means there was no female there was no male no the agenda was the same he called them adam he called them gods amen because they were god's image <coughs> but when you come to number three he said an adam lived an hundred and thirty years and he has a, a son and be god a son in his own likeness and after his image not not the image of god not the likeness of god but him as a person him as a person the man that god created was the image of god but here you discover that because man sinned against god man was producing his own image and his own likeness are you getting the point so from that time that man sinned against god man is no longer 100 percent god's image man begin to produce his own image and his own likeness i will get this out here so and the bible said to us in romans he said for all have seen and come short the glory of god so the glory of god is the image of god the glory of god is in it's the blessings of God upon the believer. Remember, the Bible says, and God bless them. So every man is operating with a half, half image of God. Everyone, permit me to put it that way, that everyone on this planet operating by with what half image of God. Because Adam was created in God's image. But because he was created in God's image, he reproduced his own image, which he has some little part from God. Eh? And why it was like that? Because Adam sinned against God. And Adam lost the, the image, the 100% the God's image to, to, to Satan. So Adam was not operating on the level that God created him to operate from. Praise the Lord. So man sin. So what Jesus come to do is to bring man to recover the full God's image. To recover what God image. So the purpose of God is to have fellowship that is why when you give your life to christ you need to go through all foundation clear to to understand who you are in christ so the christ come to bring you it is not every to me based on what i understand everyone is created by god but everyone is not god's image Everyone is not 100% God's image. For you to have, to become God's image, you must have Christ in you. That is why, oh God of heaven, I say we will end here, but when you read that place, you discover in that Genesis chapter 5, he said, Adam lived 
hundred and thirty years. I say hundred and thirty years. But when Adam was in the Garden of Eden, there was no duration of time. Time factor was not there. They were not Adam was not existing by time. So I don't know how many million years that Adam was in that garden. I don't know how many billion years Adam has been existing in that garden. Because I don't think that God just created the garden today, created the earth today, and eh? after maybe one week later, then Satan now come to tempt them. No. I believe that Adam has been in that garden for long. Eh? Adam has been in that garden for long. And that time, there was nothing. There was no time. The world was not programmed by timing. When man sinned against God, that is when, when man was thrown from the God's presence. That is when time began to come. You hear Bible say to us, uh, the Samuel was saying, he said, one day in God's sight is just like a 1,000 years. And the 1,000 years in God's eye is just like a day in God's eye. So, in God's presence, there is no time. So, brother, you are born again. Know the foundation. Know who you are. So that you will, that way, the knowledge that you have will prevent you from committing sin or going back to the world. Praise the Lord. So, now that uh, you are born again, you are now what God likeness to have a right fellowship with God. Man is not only to have fellowship with God. You are born again. Because you are not born again, you are not only to have fellowship with God. That is not God. God is not only created to have fellowship with Him. He is to share God's glory, to have God's glory. To have what God's glory, recover God's glory back. So God put his glory in a man. So that that man will live like God on earth. So I uh, imagine. Imagine a man that know. You know fully well that if you use your hand to touch fire, the fire will burn you. You won't go and use your hand to touch fire. So as a newborn believer, you, you stay away from sin because sin is just like that fire that you pick up. Praise the Lord. Because you, got, you have God's glory. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 12. Uh, maybe because of time, because of time we... We will just read one quotation. But I'm just somehow excited in based on what we are discussing. When we be, when I begin to see some countries, we won't go detail more uh, detail like that. But uh, we we just pick some few things. Ephesians chapter one verse twelve. He said that we should be the praise of his of his glory. Who who first trust in Christ, that we should be the praise of his glory, who first trust in Christ. Okay, let's read that um, First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 30. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 30. It 
He said, whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatever ye do, do all to the glory of God. So you see what he's saying. He said, whatever you do, whatever you do, that is number one. He said, we are for, he said, whether dear for ye do, or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. So he said, whether you eat, eat to the to what? To God's glory. When you drink, you drink to what? To God's glory. You lie down to sleep, you sleep in God's glory. So imagine. Imagine all of us having this, this mindset. So when you are sitting on a chair, you are sitting on God's glory. You are sitting to the glory of God. He said, Paul, uh, Ephesians, Paul was speaking. He said, so we, 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 we are the one that first partake on this. So we pay out the glory of God to, to bring forth God's glory. So we are, do, we are, we are created not only to have God's fellowship, but to show God's praise, to share in God's glory, manifesting the glory of God. Man is also created to do God's will and work. That is, that is why the Garden of Eden was given to him. So you are not created to do what? To live for yourself alone. You are created to do God's will and to do God's work. Man was created to have dominion over the rest of everything, over the rest of things that God has created. That is what God created, to be like him. So as a new believer, when you have this mindset, you know that there is no power that can control you. God has, see, one thing I would like you to know as a new believer, as someone that wants to operate on a, on a level that is higher than where he's coming from, is that when you are born again, when you are born again, you are out of darkness and now you are now in light. But that does not mean that the forces of darkness will not come to manipulate. Paul make it clear. He said that we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. That means there is a battle in this in spiritual realm. Eh? Some of the things we fight against is what? Imagination. We fight against the thing that try to exalt God. Glory over our life. Knowledge over our life. Amen. Amen. So being born again, <clears throat> they not automatically transfer us from sin. From sin. From temptation. From committing sin forever. No. But rather he transfer us to the light. We are Jesus live. Where we can have access to divine knowledge that will keep us from committing sin. Are you getting the point? If you don't understand, you can ask questions. Because why is why is it like that? Remember one prayer Jesus prayed in John chapter 17. He said, Father, keep them in your truth. And also keep them in the world. Because they are not outside the world. They are in the world. But it is the truth that you will keep them. And it is the word, it is you that will keep them. So we are translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. We are, we can have access to the revelational knowledge of God. To resist sin when you want to come. Because the same way that sin, Satan found himself to the garden of Eden. To tempt Adam. And if it's the same way that sin or Satan will see find their way to individuals life that is in Christ Jesus to tempt them. I will get to the point. Yes. So but we have the right. Why we are discussing that? 
as a new as, as someone that wants to know the mind of God, that wants to do the will of God. You see yourself proceeding to another level, and you are doing things the way that people begin to imagine. How come who, who give this kind of knowledge to this person? The, 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 the forces around you begin to see you that you are a threat to them. They see that you are operating from another level. Jesus is light. And what is light? Is access to knowledge. Praise the Lord. May God help us. In Jesus' name. So you are created to have dominion. So you are being, when you have some kind of light, you become authority over forces of darkness around you. And you become the one controlling them. Amen. God help us. Jeremiah, God was speaking. Jeremiah, he said, I have made you, I, I have set you a prophet to plant and to uproot. You are not just ordinary believer, ordinary person. As you are born again, you are not just ordinary person. Man, that is one of the purpose that God created man. Let's just somehow fast. Implication of falling into sin. When man sin against God, what are the implications? What happened? We have seen the original way God created man to have dominion. God created man to be his image. God created man to walk like him. God created man to, to reason like him. God created man that a man will call him that are not in existence to existence. The other, I see last Sunday, I... I was telling us the garden of Eden has rivers. And I said that if Adam want to cross to the other side, will Adam swim? No, I don't think that Adam swim. Did Adam have boat to cross? I don't think that Adam have boat to cross. So I say either Adam walk on top of water and cross to the other side. Or Adam think I want to be there. And Adam find himself on the other side. That means Adam disappear and appear as a God that God has made him to be. Praise the Lord. But when man lost it, he lose every he lose he lose he lose he lose. But God see keep him. With some counting. That is why, even when God was driving Adam from the Garden of Eden, the Bible says he saw man was trying to help himself. God see, kill an animal and use his skin to cover the man. So he see preserve man. Eh? That is why man did not lose everything entirely. Praise the Lord. All the implication of the manifestation of sin and the fall of man. Man spiritually die. Man do it spiritually die. Don't forget the purpose of God. Why man? Why God create man? And when man sin against God, what happened? Man spiritually die. When God said to Adam, "If you eat the fruit, you will die." Did Adam die physical? No. After that time, Adam still live hundred and thirty years. Before he died the physical. So what kind of death that Adam find himself? Adam died from God's presence. Adam died from God's image. Adam died from God's likeness. Adam died from the authority God put in a, in a man. Adam died from the blessings of God. You see where God begin to cause man. He will struggle before you will eat. Huh? But Adam, God did not, I, the other time I was saying that God did not remove all the blessing totally from Iman. Eh? You see the blessing was there, but the God said, you will do what? You will struggle to eat. I have blessed you already, but I place a limit to your blessing. You will struggle. You will do something to eat. Before I was the one providing for you. Eh? But this time around, you are going to do the one. Amen. May God bless us and help us in Jesus' name. Oh, we must finish this thing today. Praise the Lord.
we have spent at least a, that is something minutes and because of some of them it's probably for something better if we can play but uh, we are using some time to talk other things amen. amen so man fall from what man fall from god's presence man spiritually die breaking of relationship with man with god sorry my relationship was break with god the communion the fellowship of the spirit was no longer there man was separate number two point man came under satan authority the man that's supposed to control satan come under satan authority so man that, so, that carry god's image come under satan authority because satan was controlled by god so if man is, is still in god's image and likeness he will be the one controlling satan but because man has died spiritually and satan is a spirit what happened he fall from that aspect of being able to control satan to where satan control him amen That you can see as of apostle as of apostle chapter 26 verse 18 and Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 number three point man became servant to sin roman chapter 6 verse 16 roman chapter 8 from 14 to 23 man become what servant to sin remember paul said whoever you obey you are servant to him number four point man and the whole human race and every other thing that man god creates to be under god under man come into course Everything that was under under man, everything that was under man control, as man sin against God, they also become cause. The animal, do, 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 let's sorry. In the Garden of Eden, the Bible says that the man should eat every fruit. Eh? The fruit. God did not say that the man should eat animal meat god did not say that god, a man should eat flesh anything flesh animal supposed to be you work with them they are supposed to be something that just another set of people that you can relate with how they derive as you look at them you see the god god beauty and you begin to admire god and give god's glory god glory eh? But this animal become God's, become enemy to God. Sorry, become enemy to man. Today, you see animal, if, if tiger see human being, I see uh, we pursue us. Eh? Praise the Lord. But in some cases, you discover that today, because of uh, uh, this one is salmon on the wayside. Somebody can train tiger. And at the end of the day, you see the tiger becoming friend to, to human. And they play together. Eh? But I think they say they, sometimes they cut, they have removed it. Or I don't know what they... they eh? So those type of things. But what I'm trying to say is that that is how God wants it to be. More similar thing. Eh? Man relating with... Okay, praise the Lord. <laughs> but today you see that man eat animal, eat flesh, eat manner of things, all manner of things. But it was not like that. Amen. 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 May God bless us and help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So man fall and the whole creation was what? Came under God's cause. According to Genesis chapter 3 verse 16 to 24 and Romans chapter 8 verse 19 to 22 in that romance 
the Bible says that the, the whole creation, the whole everything that God created is waiting for the sons of God to manifest. So as a new believer, they are waiting for you. So immediately you manifest, they too will be delivered. Eh? They too will be delivered. For example, the grass, some of the trees, grasses, that native daughter pluck for wickedness. God create those leaves supposed to be medicine. Supposed to be medicinal to us. But they are using it for wicked thing. So they are they also are not eh, happy. You see a whole forest, a whole tree is dedicated to an idol. And that tree is not also happy. It's waiting for you and me to be to deliver them. Are you getting it? So in times of returning back to God, we are not just returning back to God to make heaven. But we are returning back to God that, so that every other thing around us will also be delivered. Praise the Lord. Number five point. Man handed over his over inheritance from God to Satan. It was not Satan that collect the authority from man per se. It was man that handed that authority over to him. The transaction was made. Praise the Lord. If you are writing, you write first second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Luke chapter 4, verse 5 to 6. John chapter 12, verse 30 to 31. Second Timothy chapter 2, from 25 to 26. And first, in Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, you see where Bible says the God of the earth has blind what? blinded the mind of the people so that they will not see the light of God. Eh? Oh, God of heaven. But do you, do you know that this first correction, second correction chapter 4 verse 4, is speaking in two ways. One is to the people of the world, the people that have not given their life to Christ. Eh? It blinds their mind so they will not see the light of Christ. And it become difficult for them to accept Jesus Christ. Then number two group of people that that word is referring to are people in church. Some people in church. The God of the world has succeeded by blinding their mind through tradition, through religion, per se, in one aspect, where truth has not been revealed. And through the way that they were raised up, their environment, the, the law that governed the, the environment, the, the state, has blinded their eyes so they cannot see the true light that Jesus is giving for freedom and they still go ahead and hold to some things or the other and they don't become the true messengers of God. Praise the Lord. And this morning, that joke is broken in the name of Jesus. The light of God will shine in our heart. Every blindness will bow in the name of Jesus. Jesus said, I have come that those that are blind we see, and those that are seen, we will, will become blind. Who are the people that Jesus is saying they are blind? It was the Pharisee and the Sadducee, the people that they read the Bible, the people that they read, they have fellowship in God present. So the God of the earth blind their mind. The Bible says they search the scripture to see whether they will have, but Jesus said, they search the scripture thinking that they have eternal life. But what happened to them? They don't have internal life. Why? Because the God of the earth has blinded their eyes and they can't see the light of the gospel. 
the only thing that they have. Or will not be like that. As you are, as as you have given your life to Christ, try your possible best. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you become who God wants you to be. Number six point, as we try to round up. All, all the problems facing man today, facing us today, is just a result of sick or sin. Because God cannot see seek. So as long as Adam, remember I say I don't know how many years Adam was living in that garden before the sin. But I believe that Adam has been there more than a million years or even a billion years. Years. Because there was nothing like years time in counting. Praise the Lord. In God's presence. Oh God, oh God. Have you seen, have you seen, hear some people testimony? They say within a, some person tell you that in the 15, in 15 minutes, this is what God showed them. And what God showed them in 15 minutes is the equivalent of things that of 50 to 30 years experience and in, in, in 15 minutes in some time sometimes that in two minutes two minutes <laughs> somebody God can do somebody two minutes to the spiritual realm and that spiritual realm that two minutes the person will spend hundred years in two minutes and when he returned, he will ask, his, he said that he just live a <laughs> hundred years. Because this, the, the, the spiritual, when God wants to compress time, because in, in the realm of the spirit, there is nothing like tiny. So God, when God wants to compress time, there are things that happen. That is why Oh my God, oh my God. Let us just divert little. Eh? Let us just divert little. Have you seen a family or hear a story of a family? They have been married for nine years. Nine years. No child. No child. And before you know, the tenth year they have triplet. That is what compression of time. So a child can cover the space of one and two years. So if we go with two two years, that means that the, the woman conceived this year. Eh? And it taking it take another one year to conceive again. Eh? Then after one year, after raising the child, one year he con she conceive again, and uh, by the time the pregnancy, by the time they will give birth again, is a uh, maybe a year, a two year after the the other one, it become maybe a year, a two years and. Eh? So let us assume that every uh, two years or three years, they are having one child. And now, God, after nine years, God give them triplets. So one child for the three years, one child for the three years, one child for the three years. That is how God works somehow, compressing. And do you know one of the funniest things that, it might happen that, that those three children that they give by that time, the family, the husband and wife, will not cater for these children anymore. In some cases, it will happen that if our people will volunteer, this one will say, I will train this one to this university level. I will do this one to the university level. So assuming that they will, 
giving back the normal way, that blessing, that favor might not come. The father and the 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 the, the, the husband and wife might be training these children, might be training the children, but a, on unknown to the family, they will be crying and crying and weeping. God, where are my? What have I done? This and that and that. But they don't know that God has a gender for them. So, in ten years, God just ah yeah yeah yeah. Amen. Amen. So when man sin, sin enter into the world. Sickness, hardship, insecurity, violent, unhappiness, name them. Because God is ever faithful and cannot change, he continues to look for a way to rescue man. Conclusion The restoration of man, manifestation of God, the rescue of man, God come to rescue man, and God begin to manifest. Don't forget the other side, sin was manifesting 100 percent. So when God come in, God begin to manifest, God show his love. God begin to show his love. And God begin to draw man. The Bible said to us in John chapter 3, verse 16, God loved the world and he gave his son to us, which is Jesus. God love has restored man to his original state of, of what? Of innocence and fellowship with him. He has done this by sending his son to die for man so man might be reconciled to God and renewed so man might be what reconciled to God the Bible said to us that when a man is in Christ Jesus is what is a new creature and he so said we are reconciled back to God Roman chapter 4. Sorry, Roman chapter 6, verse 4. You see the reconciliation of man back to God. Second in 2 Corinthians chapter 15, from 17, sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 to 20. You see, we are God. Another explanation that God is giving to us. How we have been restored back to God. In John chapter 5, in chapter 1, verse 3 to 7. You see when God was talking, Jesus was speaking with Nicodemus. He talked about the born again. So we have now turned to God through his son. So God restore man. God restore man. Let me just give you a quotation that you will read. Maybe throughout the week. Daily reading. Huh? Please, you learn how to have your writing book. Huh? Daily reading. That the one you read Romans chapter 8, sorry, chapter 1, verse 19 to 31. You read that day 2, 1 Timothy. Chapter 1 from 9 to 11. Just, just short, short quotation that you read to meditate on. Day 3. Colossians chapter 3, verse 5 to 8. Day 4. Galatians chapter 5 from 19 to 21. Day 5, Mark chapter 7 from 20 to 23. This is Job chapter 7 verse 17. 
day 7 psalm chapter 1 chapter 8 verse 4 and isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 So you are going with a question. Why it is so hard for man to turn back to God in spite of all that God what he saying? Why is it that it's very hard for man to return back to God? All these are the fall of man, restoration of man, God's purpose, they are all that see in the fall of man, which is the sin. So the memory verse, what you should think about, Romans chapter 3, verse 23. You see, all have sinned and shot, can't shot what? God's glory. And I say to us, the one of the purpose of Jesus is to bring back the glory of God to our life so you can fully be called a servant of God now you are born again you are God image you are what God image you are God image I want you to see yourself that you are God image you are not half image anymore you are God image. If God permit us and if Christ tarry, next topic will be repentance and new birth. Uh, we, are, we have talked about the fall of a man and we will talk about the new birth which many has experienced. We we'll talk about what repentance is not. We talk about true repentance involving the following, what it follows. So that we will discuss, have some discussion. Uh, I will talk about example of genuine repentance. We talk about evidence of genuine repentance. We also talk about evidence of false repentance. Uh, all this is to keep us as new believers as people that want to know God to keep us on fire for God and to keep us on the <laughs> is it cold for God praise the Lord uh, there is something I see in the scripture and maybe one day we will discuss uh, what we discuss on this on this platform or we talk about uh, you know we are what I see the uh, God said you say in Revelation either you are he said they are not cold they are not hot you see, then I will spit you out. Uh, Often I will hear people saying that we should be on fire. Eh? Uh, and some people that explain the coldness in some area. And I, some few days ago, I begin to think about it. And something begin to flash to my mind that there are two kinds of person that God was, three kinds of person God was pointing at in that revelation. And uh, two of them it is God's desire to, that it should be in two of them there is one that God did not desire any child of God to be in eh? so and why is it important what does it mean to be cold is it the, the one we refer to prayerlessness eh? or a, a believer that is not okay praise the Lord I just wait for that day that we'll talk about that. God will bless us and God will keep you. Any question? If there is no question, 